about to forget my microphone. Good morning. Rise and shine. I used to sing this song to Justin. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Whew. That's a good song. Get you going in the morning. Anyway, here we are. It's Monday. Smile. Oh, let's get some people in here and then we're going to play. We're going to play some games today. Are you ready? Ready, ready, ready. So let's get some stuff done. It'll be fun, I promise you. We got 100 people in here. Let's get going. So, uh, every day, we've been coming up with some pamper missions. I want that, to get that in your brain, you know? Let's, let's get that in our brain. What, you know, the, we need to take care of ourselves at the same time of getting stuff done in the house. And we can use these pamper missions as a way to take a little break and sort of re refresh your batteries and not just on Sundays, but let's do it during the day. You know, people who work in a corporation, they're required to take a morning break and an afternoon break. Well, why shouldn't we do that? We should do that. So let's get some, uh, I got my little cards here. I'm going to pull them out. I got a bunch of them. Sheets. Mop. Trash. Doors. Vacuum. Dust. This is our weekly home blessing stuff that we'll do in just a minute. And earlier I posted on our page a link to our, um, I, I made you a list today and color coded it for you to use to cut our tape or fold up, to cut them up and put them in a bowl so you can do your morning, afternoon, evening routine, and then weekly home blessing, and then a list of pamper things that you can add to. So everybody, what, Pamper missions are we going to look at today? Let's think about what can we write down today? I need your help. Take a break. Maybe I'm going to put take a break. Take a break. And it doesn't matter if we've already said this because it's okay to do it again. So I'm going to put that one in my pamper box. What else can we do? What else can we do? What else can we do? On a break now, this is good. Use Fly Lady as a break. <laughs> okay, folks, we need some pan permissions here. I'm, I'm sort of brain dead. Um, putting your makeup on, that's a really good pan permission. Taking your makeup off. Do my nails. We, I know what, we'll, we'll put some cuticle cream on our, on our cuticles. Cuticle. C-U-T-I-C-A-L. I probably spelled it wrong, but I don't care. Cuticle cream on nails. Now, let me tell you. You know, you don't have to go out and buy a cuticle cream. You can use olive oil. You can use, um, I, at night before I go to bed, I use my chapstick on my fingernails. Chapstick softens them too. So whatever you got, just put it on there. A little lotion works good. Just massage it into your cuticles. You'll get them soft and supple and they won't get snagged and it'll be nice. Okay. Cuticle cream on your fingernails. Well, I've never colored my hair. Oh, make some spa water. Spa water. This is fun. 
spa water. Cut up lemons and limes or oranges or cucumbers and into a pitcher of water and set it out and it'll just infuse those things. Even mint and different things will work well too. Make, make. And it might actually help you drink more water. Okay, that's three of those for today. Now we're in the kitchen this week. Where are we going to declutter? We're, let's, let's think about the different places in our kitchen where we need to declutter. Let's go into our silverware drawer. Silverware drawer. Let's declutter stuff out of our silverware drawer today because that, that drawer can get a lot of funky stuff in there. You know what I'm talking about. Let's get rid of some of those things. We don't need them anymore. Mine is full of um, lots of little spoons and little, uh, little serving pieces and a set of silverware I never finished, so I just need to declutter some of those things. Uh, another let's declutter underneath the sink declutter under sink if you don't have a dishwasher decluttering under your sink gives you room to put uh, to put your dish pan to put dirty dishes in. It also gives you a place to put your crock pot that you don't use that often or if you use it all the time it can sit out. Our bread machine or your instapot. So there. Get rid of the things you don't use very often. Now uh, what's one more place to declutter in the kitchen? Let's declutter some of our baking pans. Declutter, declutter baking pans. So just how many bunt pans do you need? You need one good one because usually that's all you make at a time is one cake. If you're trying to do three cakes at one time that you're piling on, don't do that. Okay. It's Somebody make a list of all these wonderful things going, going past here that I've missed because I, I just saw declutter pantry. If, if Patty or, or Liz would gather up all these wonderful things that have been posted and, and send it to me in Slack, I would love it. Declutter pantry. Okay, that's giving us three or four for today. You don't have to do them all at once, but it's just a way to, I'm building a game, a declutter game, and you're helping me do it in baby steps. You were building these games. Now, today is Weekly Home Blessing. Now, for those of you who don't know what Weekly Home Blessing is, we can take 15 minutes, we can take an hour. The longer you take to do something, the longer it's going to take. It's just that simple. It's Parkinson's law number two. Time expands to fit the amount of time that's needed for it. And if you say it's going to take all day, it will take all day. But really, if we can play with doing two minutes, two minutes, you can get a lot of stuff done and get a little aerobic exercise in at the same time. So what we're going to do, let me find my little card to see what I'm... Uh, this month... Our habit of the month is doing a load of laundry each day. Yep, let's get a load of laundry done every day. And you're going to get caught up on your laundry. You're going to actually be looking for laundry to do. This week we're in our kitchen. So we're going to get our kitchens nice and clean. Have you shined your sink yet? Have you been putting that off? Yeah, I know who you are. You haven't shined your sink yet because so you say, just how in the world could that make a difference? Well, it really does. So go shine your sink. If you haven't done that yet, do it now. It's imperative that you get that done. 
Uh, we've already touched on pampering stuff, so let's let's. Um, I'm gonna pull out. Now I made that big list for you to go download. Everybody, you can go download that list. You can print it out. It's two pages. I've sort of color coded it, but you can print print it out in grayscale. I don't care. My I have my printer print out in grayscale. I hardly ever use colors. But I like colors. But you could color code popsicle sticks and take these things on there. Or you could fold them up into little pieces of paper and drop them like little fortune cookies down into um, into a jar. You can put the morning ones. You can play a game three times a day, morning, afternoon, and evening. There's really no wrong way to do it. If you get up and you get dressed to lace up shoes, you make your bed and go go get dressed, you know, go put your makeup on and switch and swipe while you're in the bathroom. You get those things done first, then you can play the game any, any way you want to and not worry about things. Now, I'm old. I got my little jar. I'm old. I've already pulled out four things. Well, I think I lost one a while ago. It fell off the table. <clears throat> we talked about windows yesterday. We've talked about feather dusting. By the way, feather dusters are back in stock. Get the ordered now. We have a limited supply of them. Get yours ordered now. It's this beautiful feather duster. So get your feather dust. Feather dusting the house takes two minutes. Bam. Uh, attack, keeping your hot spots cleared will keep your house looking clean all the time. I, we, Rebecca and I tell the kids, if you'll just make your bed, your room will look clean. If you'll just clear out your hot spots in your living room and your kitchen, your whole house is going to feel a whole feel a lot better. And then um, pick out your clothes for tomorrow. You can do that anytime during the day, but just pick them out. You can do do it when you do the do the laundry. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out another tile. This is going to be one of our basic things. We're getting back to basics. I've already mentioned it. Swish and swipe. This is a basic thing. We practiced it last month, but for those of you who are new, it takes me longer to tell you how to swish and swipe than it actually does to do it. So swish and swipe is real simple. You wipe down your bathroom mirror. You wipe down the counter. You put everything away that you got out. And you may have to clean out from under the sink to have a place to put things or at, clean out a drawer and you wipe down the toilet seat. You, I put a whole bottle of Dawn dishwashing liquid and a whole bottle of water into my crock the other day. And I have a fully supplied, fully supplied swish and swipe crock. Now you just hold it up and put it in the toilet, swish it around and then put it back in the crock i use an old vase is what it is and it holds about a probably about a half a gallon of liquid but i just use dawn dishwashing liquid because i've used up everything else okay so that's our habit that's that's the you know one of the basic things we do every day our bathroom never gets super dirty and we're on top of it. Even if you miss a day, it's still better than letting it go for two weeks and not touching it. Okay. Now we're going to do weekly home blessing. I got the list here. All the cards. Now, I'm going to hold them up. Let's see. Eeny, meeny. Here we go. I'm going to pull this one out. This is a good one. I want you, I'm going to set the timer for two minutes. And I want you to, and I'm going to keep talking about things. But I'm going to set the timer for two minutes. And you're going to run around the house and gather up all the trash. Just keep piling it in the trash bag. Go. Ready, set, go. And I'll keep talking. You know, trash, if, if, Taking the trash out is one of the kids' responsibilities and they're not taking it out every night and you're not reminding them to take it out 
every night, then it's standing in the way of you getting things done in your house because that nasty trash smells bad. It makes your house smell terrible when you walk in. So let's take the trash out every day and put it in the trash can. Now, trash can pile up. It really can. And sometimes recycling can is trash. I try, we try to recycle as many things as possible, but if you put the plastic things in your trash can, you haven't really recycled them. So let's get the recycling where it belongs and then let's put the trash in the trash can and take it out to the garage or wherever you put your trash and get it ready to go. Let's keep going here. So the, we've got another 47 seconds to run around the house and gather up all the trash. You can do this. This is, we're doing a two minute weekly home blessing. Two minutes for each thing. I know you don't think it sounds like much, but guess what? If you, if you set the timer for 15 minutes, you'll take 15 minutes. If you set the timer for two minutes, you can get it done in two minutes. Grab the trash, gather it up, tie it all up and go take it to the trash can. It's just that simple. You can do it. You really can do it. Okay, I'm going to put this card over here. And I was decluttering the other day in my closet after I did the show because that's, that's the habit I'm getting into. I try to declutter one little area. There the timer goes. Hear it? I love our timer. We're going to pick another one. Pick a card, pick a card, any card, pick a card. I feel like Ken Hartley, the magician, pick a card, any card. So I'm going to go see what this one is. Oh, this is an easy one. Okay. Set your timer. Now we got the timer for two minutes. All you got to do is repress it. Ready, set, go. We are going to gather up all the magazines and catalogs and paper clutter that you, you know, if you don't have magazines and catalogs, but you still have paper clutter, let's go through some of that paper clutter and get rid of it. Put it in recycling, put it in your burn pile that you put in your fire pit, however you got to do it. Go for it. Gather up magazines and catalogs because we're getting a lot of them now. People are already sending Christmas stuff. Magazines. We're going to get rid of those magazines. They pile up on your coffee table. Uh, Robert reads one he thinks I'm going to read. I don't read it. I stick it right in, right in the recycle bin. I have a recycle bin that's right by my newspaper pile. And we burn our papers uh, when we have fires in the winter. So I kind of save them up during the summer. But eventually, someday, I have to just take them all and get rid of them to the recycling bin. But if you're holding on to things because you don't know how to recycle them, your house is turning into a recycle center or a, a, a landfill. So let's get the trash out of our house. And we do it by doing our weekly home blessing every Monday. Two minutes on this. It doesn't even take two minutes. Just grab them and put them in the recycle bin. Put them in the recycle bin. You got it? Let's see where the timer is. It, 15 seconds. Gather up all the magazines. Okay, where am I, where am I putting these? I see. Okay, I, there goes the timer. Yay. This timer will go off for about a minute after it go, you know, after it stops counting down. That gives you a little grace period. We don't like to call them chores, people. No chores. They're blessings. They're blessings. We are blessing our home. Okay. Okay, everybody. T take a drink of water or something warm. Tea. I got coffee. 
Y'all are making me tired. Okay. What will it be now? I got some more cards. So which one should I pick? The one on the left or the right? Somebody, first one to say left or right, I'll pick that one. My left. Whoever says that's the one I'll pick. Tell me which one to pick, left or right. I did center before, right. Okay, here we go. I got right one. The right, right one. <laughs> okay, everybody, grab your feather duster because we are going to get after some dust. Let's do it. Get after some dust. So grab your feather duster, ready, set, go. Two minutes, feather dust those tables in your, in your living room, in your dining room. Run around real quick and get it done. You can do this. Feather dust as fast as you possibly can because it's speed dusting, not speed dating, speed dusting. You can tell I've had two cups of coffee this morning. Oh, well, if you don't have a feather duster, then use a purple rag or a silver rag, but do it fast. Don't, don't get, um, uh, don't get, get bogged down in things. Just do what you can. We're only going to do two minutes. You can do anything for two minutes. You don't have to take forever. You can do it. Let's get some dusting done. Let's get after this dust. Now, the more often you dust, the less your allergies are going to act up because you're staying on top of the dust. You can do this. Two minutes. We're down. We're 52 seconds and counting. You can do it. Get the feather duster, Dina, and get after that dust that Jay's making. You know, these, du these dusters were tested on sheetrock dust. And it will get that sheetrock dust up. That's how we knew they were good. Because someone was doing a remodeling in the Fly Lady family, and we actually tested it on sheetrock dust. How wonderful is that? And then you take it outside. And you go bless the world with your dust. The dust belongs outside, not in your house. You got it? Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Let's take our dusters outside while the timer's going off and bless the world with it. It can really be a big, big bunch of dust come out of that thing. And if you don't have a duster yet, Get yours now. 20% discount on them. We never do that, but we're doing it today. Okay. Now, once you get your, your the world blessed, let's take a little break. And let's talk about these basics for a while. We've done, we've done three of the four things of our weekly home blessing. Let's take a little break. It'll be okay. We don't have to get it all done real fast. We're going to take baby steps, even though we're going really fast when we do the baby steps. But learning to use a timer is one of those basic things that can change our lives. Now, a lot of things can be a timer. Letting the coffee make, that can be a timer. Putting on a song, that can be a timer. I was watching uh, Fox Business this morning, and they played It's a Small World. After all, you know, that's one of those, those, if you've ever been to Disney World, you've heard, you've heard that a million times and it just gets stuck in your head. Well, it is a small world. It's a small world. Here we are. I'm on Facebook talking to people all over the world. It is a small world again. And our little collective here, we can pray for people. We can do wonderful things. How do you wash my duster? I have had it 
for years and I forgot. Okay, think about giving a baby a shampoo. Put a little drop, you wet it with warm water, and you put one drop of baby shampoo in it. And you rub it around, but don't rub it too roughly. You wouldn't rub a baby's head too roughly. And then rinse it out, and you can set it out and let it dry. Be careful the dogs don't get it because it looks like a drowned rat. Or you can blow dry it right then. And it will look as poofy as that when you get through with it. Okay, now jump in right where we are, Jeanette. Don't worry about it. You you can get the you can go back and pick up the other ones we've done. So we've got we've got four cards left. One, two, three, four. Somebody give me a number between one and four. First person to give me a number between one and four. This is one, two, three, four. First person to give me a number between one and four is the one I'm gonna choose. Somebody give me a number. I'm number one. Okay. Number one is let's pull our sheets off our bed. You might not be able to get sheets back on the bed in two minutes, but we're going to pull the sheets off in two minutes. And that'll be, I'll put the, put it back in the pile. Because it takes longer than two minutes to put the sheets back on the bed. So ready, set, go. Two minutes to get those sheets off the bed. Doesn't take long. Now, if you already made your bed up this morning, you get points for that. But just pull the, pull the comforter back and let's pull those sheets off the bed and let's get them in the laundry. A lo Monday is sheets day. Monday is sheets day. So I'm going to mix the cards back up again while y'all are doing that. I'm going to mix them all up. Now, with our habits, you know, learning to use this timer is a fun way. Some days, I just use my timer all day long. It sits right beside my chair. I have one in the kitchen. I have one in right by my chair. I have one in here that I use for our games. And <clears throat> I have it set on 15 minutes. But that 15 minutes is for me to work doing fly lady stuff. So I work for 15 minutes. Timer goes off, I get up, I get a drink of water, and I do something, this week I'm in the kitchen, so I'm focused in the kitchen. Robert's gone to the grocery store right now, and I think I'll be cooking dinner. I saw a commercial for Outback last night, and I said, you know, that steak really looks good. If you could find us some nice little steaks at the grocery store today, I might cook you a steak for dinner. So we're gonna have steak for dinner and I'm gonna have grilled veggies with that steak. And so I know what's for dinner already. How about you? Do you know what's for dinner? Makes the day fun. You get your mindset going. You might not have the food yet, but you get your mindset going. So I'm gonna marinate these steaks and they're gonna be absolutely to die for. There goes the timer. You got your sheets off the bed, now go put them in the washing machine. Go put them in the washing machine. Now put the sheets back in our little pile. Now, I've mixed them all up again. So somebody pick a number between one and four because I put the sheets back in here. Between one and four. And somebody give me a number. Third person to give me a number is the number I'm going to pick. Two. Okay, that's number two. Third person. Three. One more number. One more number. And that's the number I'm going to pick. Y'all got some good food going on there. Somebody pick a number between one more number. I said, I, okay, number two. Oh, this is a good one. Now, I can't, st this is vacuum. Now, while I'm talking about this, you could get your vacuum cleaner out. But I don't like vacuum cleaners. So that's why we got our carpet sweepers, which we're out of right now, but they're on their way. We should have them soon. 
But if you have the carpet sweeper, you can use the carpet sweeper. You can get your vacuum cleaner out. Uh, even the rubber sweeper, the, our broom, does a great job on carpets. So let's set our timer for two minutes. You've already got your vacuum cleaner out. Two minutes. We're going to vacuum for two minutes. Now you might not be able to hear me while I'm talking, but I promise you I will not sing. So I'm going to put that back in our pile. So we're down to three cards. Oh, I love our carpet sweeper. It gets more cat, cat hair and dog hair up than anything I've ever used in my whole life. A anything I've ever used. Whew. Second cup of coffee got me going today. I don't know what was in this, but it was a lot of caffeine. Oh, that's good. So right now, while y'all are vacuuming, those of you who are like, hate vacuum cleaners like I do, you're using your carpet sweeper. It doesn't make any noise. Just a little swishy noise. That's it. Um, the main thing we have on sale right now is our silver rags and our mop. Our mop. Our extra large mop is half price. It's 15 15 98 now somebody asked me where I got these cards well I got these cards on Amazon they you just they're blank playing cards they use them in homeschooling and they're just flash cards and they're the size of playing cards you can get little square ones or you can get these I even got some little little disc little wooden disc that you could play with and you can mark them with numbers and draw something out of a hat and if you've got a list you can pick that number why do you hate vacuums I hate vacuums because they hurt my ears they have always hurt my ears I don't know what it is about that high-pitched noise I can hear a high-pitched noise in fact I decluttered an or vacuum cleaner last week because I hated the noise there's the timer. Everybody, I'm holding up the timer. If you're vacuuming, look at the timer is off. Stop. We're just doing the middles. Don't get underneath the furniture. You're okay. I got three cards left and one of them sheets. So, right, left, center. Right, left, center. Somebody pick right, left, center. Whoever does it first, whoever posts right or left or center. Center. Robin, you got it. Center. Well, it's sheets again. So grab your clean sheets that are uh, either under your mattress or in your linen closet or in a drawer Get your clean sheets out and let's start putting those on your bed. I'm going to set the timer again. It's going to take longer than two minutes. But don't kill yourself. To pace yourself and get it done and you'll feel much better about it. You will feel good. I'm going to take this off of our little pile and put it in the done pile. Doesn't it feel good to get this stuff done? Okay, timer's going. Let's see. I'm talking about... Um, our fun tools this tool is coming into its own people are using it to clean the soffits around their house you can put it on a long handle because this unscrews and I've been cleaning behind my toilet with it it is not this one I have another one but it'll bend and you can you can get two things really well and get it put a little pressure to stuff and you can get some stuff done without having to bend over it's it's good to bend over but if you don't have to don't do it you can reach high and you can reach low and you can get some stuff clean that you didn't even know was dirty you really can and these little fingers, these things grab stuff. And this pulls off and washes. I love that part. 
You can throw it in the hamper with your uh, laundry, with your uh, mop cloths and your purple rags. These can all be washed together. That's a load. That is a load. And I'll wash it on hot water because I want to get it good and clean. Okay, timer, we're down to six, five, four, three, two, one. There it goes. Look at us. Look at us. Now, if you haven't finished with your sheets yet, I'll keep talking a little bit while we start thinking about these next two cards. These next two cards. Now, all of these, the Weekly Home Blessing, is in my little jar of fun things to do around the house. If you do these 20 things every day, your house will always look clean. It will always look clean. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. If you've just finished putting sheets on your bed, and if you hadn't finished it, you can get back to it. But right now, I want you to take a, take a little break. You can get back to it. Mm-mm-mm. Coffee is good. Now, which hand? Right or left? Right or left? Right or left? They're both good ones. Second person to tell me which, which, right. Okay, one one person says right. Who wants to do the left? Second person, right. Okay, this is the right one. This is my right hand. I have to think about it. Okay. I want you to get out your purple rags or your silver rags or your bronze rags because we are going to get after some doors. You know, those puppy nose prints and those little hand prints and little paw prints that are all over everything. We're going to get after them. So I'm setting the timer for two minutes. You've seen me do this in two minutes. You have seen me do it. Two minutes. You remember my dog, Harley? Harley was a red bone hound dog. And he loved helping me do windows. We're getting after those doors. Yeah, you know, those doors, when you walk into your, your living room, well, my living room, you come in through the front door, but you're looking straight at the back door. And I have new back doors. And they are beautiful. And because they are so beautiful, I want to keep them clean. And they're, they, it's, we have had so much rain this past week. And there are muddy Puppy prints already on them. Already on them. It doesn't take, and all you got to use is water with when you use our, our rags. Our silver rags are half price right now. Half price. Half price. So folks, you can have this game at your house and do it every day, every day. We haven't made a game, but I've made a download for you to cut up into little strips of paper and fold them up. Look how fun that would be. Look how fun that would be. Just fold them up. I mean, I'm thinking about just lots of ways you could play this game. Somebody wrote these things down on popsicle sticks. Have you got a, a bunch of tongue depressors? Somebody had a friend pick up a Jenga game and they put them on Jenga, little Jenga wooden, wooden things. How cute is that for a dollar at a yard sale? There's lots of ways to play this game. You're creative. You're the one that can do it. Robert made me little wooden tiles. He made me these little tiles and I just put... Well, it's all the way across the room. I just put little, little uh, address labels on them, front and back. So we've been doing our doors. Two minutes is enough. 
You don't have to kill yourself. Your home is going to look good when you get through. Now we have one card left. One card left. Yep. One card left. And that card is mop. This is mop our kitchen, mop our front room, mop our... You, I can do this in two minutes. You have seen me do this in two minutes. You've seen me do it. So grab your mop. I have my little mop right here. This is our extra large mop that is, that is on sale right now. Half price. We don't have any extra cloths for it yet. They're coming in, and when they come in, they'll be half price too. So you get this mop, and if you don't have a mop, use what you got. My sister-in-law takes a purple rag. I've got a silver rag here handy. And she puts it on an old Swiffer base, old Swiffer mop, and it just sticks right in the holes, and she uses a purple rag to do her floors. She has beautiful oak hardwood floors. And she loves it. And she has a cat, too. Just don't get obsessive about mopping. Don't do it. Do it fast like you're mowing a yard in strips. And just go around the room. Just keep going. You can see where you've mopped. Just keep going. Keep, keep it going. If you put on some fun music. I forgot to set the timer that time. Wow, Jeanette's already done. If you can't get up and do it, then then don't. If you can get out of bed, you have to get up and get dressed. Getting dressed should be the first order of business every day. Do you understand that? If you can get out of bed, you have to get dressed. It's going to make your day much better. You're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to feel better about your home because you're dressed to shoes. If you can't put on your shoes, that's different. But we wear our lace-up shoes. And if you don't wear shoes in your house, you get a pair that you only wear in the house. If you uh, can't afford to buy one, take an old pair and run them through the washer and set, set, put them outside and let them dry real good. Take the insoles out of them and let them dry really well. And you're going to have a pair of shoes that are clean for your house. Look at y'all. You've got some wonderful ideas. We have a weekly home blessing chart. If you can't do 15 minutes and do two minute blessings, then you can do one blessing a day. That's all it takes. I know you don't think that's enough time, but to do two minutes or 10 minutes, but it is. If we take 10 minutes, it'll take us 10 minutes. But if we take two minutes, we can still get it done. Is it going to be perfect? No, somebody's trying to come in my room. Is it going to be done? Yes. Are you going to love the way it feels? Yes. You're going to love it. There's a dog. Five, four, three, two, one. Y'all have done a weekly home blessing. I want everybody to give great big hearts. Let's give hearts to everybody that's done their weekly home blessing do it let's see some hearts flying because when you're doing a weekly home blessing in two minutes at a time you're getting some stuff done and you probably have sweated through some clothes but how fun is it you can do this you can really do this it doesn't take long Go print out the little sheet, cut them into pieces. That could be fun. Fold them up, put them in a jar. You've got everything you need, everything you need to bless your home and to get things done. Because your routines, your morning, afternoon, and evening routines maintain your house. Weekly Home Blessing just makes it shine. So folks, we're in the kitchen this week. Let's get some stuff decluttered. Let's do a little detailed cleaning in there. 
and let's get some stuff done. I love you all. I know I took a little longer than I should today, but we were having some fun. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll get this uploaded so other people can watch it. Bye. You're flying now.